what's shaking it's bacon and today we're going to be talking about lag in the crucible and this is going to be a generalized video because yesterday i had the idea to talk about iron banner because i was fed up it was the middle of the night and i was really pissed off because the iron banner is the most broken thing ever now why i didn't release it is because it was kind of just me being angry and of course people like seeing that but i wanted to like break it down and collect myself a little bit more and on top of that the destiny bouncy stream came up and it was a train wreck of lag from the very beginning i was noticing little hints of lag but it seems like they were ignoring it but then it came to a point where it was impossible to ignore and that stream had the biggest turnout of any of the destiny bounties yet so that just means that everybody saw the lag and say people were watching it who don't have the game i would not want to get the game if the developers themselves can't even handle the lag of the game and are just having a terrible time because if the developers are having a terrible time playing their game in lag imagine the players so let's step back a little bit you know the beginning of destiny where i first started playing the crucible i didn't feel lag it was so astounding to not be in a fps where there was just a ton of lag and latency i was just so happy to play an fps where it was just about the game mechanics your guns your skill and your team because before destiny i played a lot of call of duty and there was latency there there was so many problems when it came to lag and host migrations and things like that and looking back i feel like call of duty is better in terms of the lag and all those problems because if anything it's just you who's messing up it's just you who is essentially a sitting duck when you have terrible connection but in destiny people with the bad connection seem to be ahead of the game they seem to be ahead of time somehow they're like the vex they get to like time warp and warp around and get to dodge bullets and de deal out bullets it is disgusting and it seems like the lag is getting more expansions than the actual game because we're seeing a plethora of new powers when it comes to lag it's almost like they had their own supers they have their own abilities i don't know what the hell is going on because every time i look at every time i play it the game of crucible there's a new type of lag and i see my friend's video and i see a new type of lag and i see other people's videos new types of lag and it's just like how is this happening how do, exactly does this work now we have players who just zip around that's the common type then there is the clone like a shadow clone where there's two of you and only one is actually you the other is just somehow materialized i don't know how the hell that works it's a rendered in second you running around nonsense and then there's people who are invincible invulnerable people who you think died or things should have died who who don't who, who just keep running on and then the horrible thing is when you trade with someone when you trade kills with someone you don't even see how the hell you died i died to a galgahorn in the beginning of a game where there <laughs> there was no body around me there was no galgahorn and i'm pretty sure there was no way that that fucking happened but apparently galgahorn killed me at the start of a game where not even my team was near me something like this is game breaking why because the content that they push out or they fix up or whatever does not matter everything is null and void if you have a broken game you could fix thorn you could fix every weapon and you can make tons of new weapons you can make them awesome but if you cannot actually use it without dealing with 
terrible lag and terrible connections because it is not just the player. Just because someone is hooked up to a McDonald's connection or has a hamster running their Wi-Fi GeForce doesn't mean that it's necessarily their fault. Bungie has the responsibility to make it so that those players who have terrible connections are not ahead of the game. They need to have the responsibility to make sure that the servers are stable and that we can stay in lobbies without having terrible problems. And if they themselves are having those same problems, then it is a prevalent problem and it is a scary problem for the future of Destiny because I I can buy a $40 DLC. I can buy the freaking $20 on top of that for the other shit. But why would I do that if the game is literally broken? Why would you buy DLC if your disc is broken in half? Because that's what I see at this point. That's what I'm feeling at this point. Do you know how frustrating it is to be in the Crucible and knowing that you're a skilled player, you can handle certain people, you can deal with certain things, but it that, none of that matters. That is all pushed aside when you have a connection such as that. When you deal with players who are zipping around or are invulnerable, who are just jumping off the top rope and just killing you, and you don't even see them kill you. I would love to see the other side of the lag. If there is ever a time where people can like record the other side of the lag and make a side-by-side -side comparison, that would be great. Because in Call of Duty, they had the kill cams. So you could see exactly what the, wait, how did he kill me from the left? He was on my right. You could see the discrepancy and the players could easily tell, okay, this is a laggy game. In Destiny, at first you cannot tell that it is a laggy game unless it is some extreme lag. If it is little hints where they're just zipping a tad bit, you won't notice it until you're dead and looking at them and you'll see that they're in one spot and then in another spot just jittery. That's the only time you can actually tell in some cases and that is horrible. Because I I don't want to stay in games where it's just lagging the entirety of it. And everybody on the other team has a red bar connection. And I'm starting to think that that is just bullshit. That the connections on the side are just bullshit. Because you'll be green and they'll say connecting to Destiny servers. And that's another thing. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of seeing those freaking animal codes. I don't want to go to the zoo. I don't want to see all that nonsense. Just freaking make the game work. Canary. Ah, I've seen Canary too many times. Canary is the fucking most annoying. And mind you, what I'm talking about right now is just normal Crucible. Do not even get me started on the Iron Banner and Destiny Crucible events. Because it's trash. They're trash. And they're becoming more and more filthy a change needs to come i at this point i could care less about their new features and all that nonsense their new game modes all that because i know in my heart that the lag is going to make me rage out of it anyways it's going to make me want to dismantle everything and break the game because it's already broken tell me what you think what is the worst thing you've experienced when it comes to lag. Thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will catch you in the next one.